Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stocks Around Us with Me Pizza. Guys, recently I've started to remodel my house and I decided that I'm going to renovate my entire kitchen. So today, we're going to help me choose the ideal kitchen for my new home. Now when it comes to designing your kitchen, there are so many things that you have to consider. For example, style is very important. Do you like to have a modern kitchen, a country, or a rustic style? I personally like rustic because it looks very natural. But then it's not just the ambience that you have to look at, you also have to consider the functionality. For example, what kind of cooking style do you like? Do you like to cook many things at once at the stove? Will you be chopping lots of vegetables at the counter? What kind of material is nice to look at but also easy to clean? How big do you want your cabinets to be? Whoa! I personally like big ones because I eat a lot. You see, there are so many different things to decide on, which is why today we are here to get some expert kitchen advice from a company that designs and manufactures kitchens and wardrobe solutions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Signature International Berhad. Signature International is a Malaysia-based manufacturer and retailer of modular kitchens and wardrobes. Starting with their signature kitchen, the company offers a variety of kitchen concepts from conventional and cozy kitchens to ultra-modern designs. Their product lines include designs such as Sleek Linear, which is very streamlined and minimalist, Contemporary Charm, Simply Natural, which uses a lot of natural elements like wood, and the rustic country-style kitchens that create a very homey, vintage country feel. In addition, Signature also imports kitchens from Italy and Germany, namely the brands BFB and Nobilia. Nobilia is also the largest kitchen manufacturer in Europe. Apart from kitchen, the company offers a variety of wardrobe collections. For example, there are many types of wardrobe styles such as the folding door, which allows users to fold away the doors to get a clear view of the clothes, the swing door, or the sliding door, which is great for smaller rooms that want to look bigger. Or the luxurious walk-in wardrobe that is like a room of its own, especially for clothes and accessories. Furthermore, Signature also exclusively imports the European wardrobe brand, Mazali, as well as adding to the wide selections they have for their clients. Signature has provided kitchen and wardrobe solutions for a number of high-rise residences within Malaysia, such as Era Garden Residences and Eve Suite at Era Damasara, the Face Platinum Suites and Horizon Residences in KL, Tropez Residences in Johor, and more. Overseas, the company has worked with a number of clients, namely Boix, a well-known French builder, Palm Jumeirah in Dubai, Priksa in Thailand, and more. With a four-acre factory with centralized production facilities and an experienced team of kitchen planners and designers, Signature is able to create different finishes and innovative solutions and create value for their customers. Hmm. There's so many selections here, I can't seem to decide which handle I should use for my kitchen. Now, while we wait for me to make this decision, let's go and meet our special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, Tan Ki Chung, the MD of Signature International. Hi, Mr. Tan, very nice to meet yeah, you. You're welcome. Thank you. So, first of all, since your business depends largely on the property development industry in Malaysia, could you just tell us how the property is doing right now, the property market? Oh, the property market, uh, I think, is uh, doing uh, very well since the past five years. Um, there's a lot of uh, new condominium has been launched mm -hmm. uh, for these uh, past few years. I think the property market is actually uh, good in the Malaysia. So the residential development is 
focused on condominium growth or what? Yeah, I think uh, the condominium uh, growth has been mm-hmm. uh, quite uh, pretty well and the prices uh, also uh, have been going up uh, since the five years uh, till now. Yes, yes. Which areas are they growing in? Uh, mainly in Klang Valley and now the focus also in uh, Iskandar area Johor. So which means that a lot of the, your clients are condominium developers? Oh yes, mm. yes. Uh, for landed property normally they didn't furnish kitchen cabinet uh, but for condominium it's actually come with kitchen cabinet. Right. Yeah, as compared with uh, 10 years back, uh, uh, most of the condominium didn't come with kitchen cabinet. Means to say that uh, nowadays, I think 95% of the condominium actually come with cap- kitchen cabinet and therefore our market share has been increased tremendously. Ah. Yeah. So right now, yeah. if we look at the trends in residential spaces, mm. and in particular the kitchen and wardrobe design, what's the latest consumer preference? Uh, it's still pretty much uh, on uh, modern, contemporary, yeah, especially like uh, white, glossy and simple, slick linear. Yes. Mm. Yeah. What about wardrobes? Uh, wardrobes, um, the developer doesn't, uh, most of the developers didn't uh, package in the wardrobe, mm-hmm. uh, just kitchen cabinet and therefore uh, wardrobe is mainly for our retail customers. So you mentioned just now that your wardrobes mm. are targeted at the retail home buyers. Yes. And what about your kitchens? Is only purely condominiums or are they also targeted towards home buyers? Uh, for our retail, uh, we have 20 showrooms nationwide. Mm. Uh, we have both kitchen and wardrobe as well. Uh, but for projects, uh, mainly uh, kitchen cabinets. Yes. I see. And yes. how big are these condominium projects that do you usually undertake? For projects, our revenue is about 75% and retail is about 25%. And a project uh, size is range from say 2 million ringgit, mm-hmm. can be up to 40 million. Depends on the uh, size of the projects and also depends on the uh, range of the uh, products that the developer choose. Yeah. Over the years, how yeah. much has your revenue grown? Uh, comparing two financial 2014 uh, to 2015, our revenue has grown about 55, 53% and I think the profit has grown about 45%. Yes. And if we look at the proportion of kitchens and wardrobes that mm-hmm. you sell, what's the proportion like? Uh, kitchen still the uh, main uh, revenue. Uh, it consists of about 80% and uh, wardrobe is about 20%. That is because um, uh, project are uh, mainly kitchen. Right. So wardrobe is only on the retail side and therefore the wardrobe contribution is, um, yeah. Uh, are you looking to grow the wardrobe segment? Oh yes, yes. Uh, we, uh, we are also trying to propose uh, wardrobe to the project customer. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Now you also have many projects done overseas as mm. well. Mm. What's the proportion between your domestic and your overseas? Uh, basically, uh, for this current uh, few years, our overseas revenue has uh, dropped. Uh, I think at the moment it's about less than 3% of our total mm. uh, revenue. Uh, simply because we put a lot of our focus uh, into back to Malaysia uh, and, and, and therefore uh, we have uh, 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 slowed down the overseas projects. Yes. For overseas business, basically we also have projects and retail. And we have about 15 showrooms overseas. Uh, it's all uh, carry the signature kitchen brand name. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, we do uh, do uh, retail uh, beside the projects. Yes, that's for our OC. So in your production process, do you create everything from scratch or do you kind of source materials from other suppliers and put them together? Uh, yeah, basically we source material from other supplier and put it together. Uh, here, mainly we have uh, uh, two strategy. Uh, one is actually for our retail orders are uh, all very custom made, so we make we do everything here. Mm. And for projects, uh, we are also sourcing from some of our vendors. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Mm. And with your projects or your retail buyers, do you actually redesign different mod- models for them or do you sell them as the sets that you have? Every customer is a uh, custom made design. So every customer have different design compared from one to another. Mm. So our salespeople will have to uh, custom make the design to suit every individual customer. Oh, yeah. so that's actually a really great unique selling point for yeah, the company yeah, as well. Yes. So um, we, our strength actually is, we call it um, uh, customized mass order. Uh, because customization and yet we are able to do mass order um, not only for our uh, Malaysia uh, even our overseas uh, customer 
we are also customized for them uh, set by set that means our overseas uh, dealers uh, when they have a customer they will send in an order one by one and we custom made and export to them so you're the only one in that sense uh, there are also a couple of them but in smaller scale i yeah. see and yeah. moving forward how do you plan to expand your business or which direction do you plan on going there are a few uh, areas that we can grow uh, one of course is the uh, overseas market uh, we can duplicate the uh, or we can sort of uh, uh, focus back on the uh, projects in overseas uh, as long as we are able to identify a, a, a local partners there uh, which able to carry out all the logistic installation for us because the challenge for us to uh, enter into overseas market is not the product is not the production is the uh, delivery and installation uh, we need a lot of manpower and after sales service so i think that is one of the very potential area because overseas market is bigger than Malaysia many many times uh, right now uh, we can also leverage from our uh, retail partners in overseas uh, to identify on the project area so there's one uh, secondly is also uh, in Malaysia uh, beside those uh, project provide uh, kitchen cabinet we are also aiming for those project uh, which does not provide kitchen cabinet example landed properties uh, we propose to them uh, to put in as an optional example like we're giving them a uh, uh, the, we propose to developer to give a kitchen voucher to their purchaser so that their purchaser after handing over they can come to our showroom and select their cabinet so i think that is also uh, one of the potential area because um, eventually this customer will go into retail market and if we can secure beforehand it will definitely increase our retail business Right, so lots of room for you to go, oh, really. Definitely, yes. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much yeah. for today, Mr. Tan. Financial Highlights At the end of 2015, Signature International's revenue was over 270 million ringgits, or 2.4 billion baht, growing by 98% from 2010. Its net profit was over 33.6 million ringgits, or 300 million baht, a growth of 124% in five years. Its net profit margin was around 12%, and ROE around 25%. Its PE was at 9, and PBV at 2. At the end of 2015, Signature International's share price was at 1.8 ringgits, or 16 baht growing by 123%. Its market cap was over 310 million ringgits, or 2.7 billion baht, a growth of 143% in five years. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Signature International we had. Join us again next time for more company highlights with Me Pizza. Now guys, since I finally found my dream kitchen, I think it's time that I move on to other rooms. Perhaps I also need a new wardrobe as well. I'm gonna go check out a few closets before we go, guys. See you guys next time. Bye!